So Rising OS has another new update available. Although let me clear one thing that this is not officially rolled out for most of the devices yet, at least while making this video. But for some devices, it got the unofficial version. So as my Pixel 7a, which is actually considered as an official version. So it might be updated soon. But with this new update, there are tons of new changes here. For example, the Nothing launcher is finally added, including the Nothing widgets. So you can choose between these widgets and we are here going to talk about this launcher, a bit of it. For example, as you can see, these are the widgets available there. So if you click on widget section, you have all the Nothing 16 widgets available. Not the quick setting tiles options are available, unfortunately, but we have the screen time options available, photos, speedometer, media player, compass, clock, three type of clocks available. So if I choose this digital style clock, this is how the UI is looking like. I've already enabled the screen time, uh, screen time widget here on the home screen. It's here. And if I click on home screen, I have the option for all the nothing goes kind of things. For example, the hide app icons, notification dots, add app icons to home screen, etc, etc. Looking quite cool. It's not enabled by default. You have the option to switch between the Nothing launcher and other launchers. And if I click on customization, it is simply redirecting me back to wallpaper and style. But we will talk about that later on how you can customize that. Moving on to the some of the basic information regarding Rising OS. This is Rising OS. I've installed on Pixel 7a 2.2. As you can see, hashtag official version. Not officially rolled out yet because it's in beta stage. That is one of the reasons it's not there because I also found some of the bugs here. But yes, if in case you are wondering if you want to install this thing on a device or not, check out in your device community. But for now, for my device is here. Things might be same in your case too if it is available for you soon. Here we have another great change available even in the lock screen. So we have the lock screen widgets available which I never saw in any custom room yet. You have the option for lock screen these widgets which you can enable or disable and also choose between them. These are also not enabled by default but I will let you know that how you can change that. So we have the weather widget available let me show you we also have the option for media player torch and the calculator kind of things here so as you can see if i click there only one click things are working fine here this is a media player widget and this is the calculator widget so these four small widgets i have applied you also have the option to choose between the big widgets or etc etc we are into this launcher customization firstly nothing launcher at the starting of the video i've shown you so wallpaper and style is here you have the option to customize the home screen layout like the search bar which you can enable or disable app labels and app grid options which you have in the nothing launcher are present here so these things are not missing at first i thought these things are missing from there but yes these are available in the customization section we also have the icon pack support and which already brings you the nothing icon pack although of course not every icon will be themed here so let me show you if i open and go back to this home screen and as you can see some of the icons are not themed here and uh, unlike in nothing OS where you can simply try installing the nothing icon pack to match these colors with the normal icon pack or you can change the themed icon pack etc etc in this case if you even install the nothing icon pack you will not be able to apply that because that's not for this one but we are here to choose between the pixel launcher quick step launcher and nothing launcher so by default it's pixel launcher you can also switch to quick step launcher or to the nothing launcher for any kind of vibes if you want to use that so yes that's quite um, impressive here if you want to use it you can this is a very impressive and interesting change available with the latest rising OS or rising ui i also tried using the custom icon bags here nothing and you can see and the status bar sorry in the google play store even if you search you will not find that official nothing icon bag because we are not using nothing os that is one of the reasons but else this is how the ui and things are going forward which is a main highlight and that is why i just wanted to let you know another main highlights is in the lock screen this which we were talking about is the lock screen clock styles firstly so you have the option to choose between the custom locks uh, lock screen styles you have lock screen clocks basically we have ios style clock and oxygen os style clock miui style clock etc etc so a lot of options are available and which we are talking about the lock screen widgets so here we have we have big widgets for example if i choose this one and second one if i choose the media player torch uh, let me show you a media player here so this is how the ui is looking like 
we have the big widgets we have the mini widgets and else we have same kind of things available there so yes that's quite impressive let me show the lock screen once again how the things are going on this is how unfortunately officially not available yet in any custom home even in the stock room because google is bringing out android in android 15 the new lock screen widgets according to the leaks not officially confirmed yet but that's quite impressive this is how the lock screen widgets are looking like in this rising os another thing is these were some major things which i just wanted to let you know else we have some customizations available you can customize the quick settings pan a uh, quick settings panel here we have the option for customizing a lot more things and if you want to know more about all the customizations the new things the settings ui changes and etc everything in the rising os 2.0 I made a video, dedicated video already on this one. So all those changes you can go and explore. But in this case, the major changes were the nothing launcher, the lock screen, which I just wanted to let you know, I have already shared with you. So this is a summary of all the things. Another thing is hide IME space, hide IME button space option is also there. And yes, that's also not working because we were talking about the beta version. New font style preview is also there. So for example, if you want to apply any fonts from there, you can simply click on there and you will get the font preview. For example, if I click this, you have the font preview, click on apply and this is it. So this is how the things are going on so far. Some bugs are definitely there because of the beta version. That is why it's not officially available. Yeah, officially stable version is not available yet for any device. We also have the option related to notification customizations, for example, island notifications, uh, which I personally am not a fan of that, but it's there and I just wanted to let you know. In sound, we have same kind of options available where you can customize some of the things like adaptive playback is there and the screenshot sound, which you can enable or disable. So either these are the personalization things or this is the personalization section where you have all the customizations, all the features which you need. This kind of settings UI is definitely available in some other custom homes and firstly, originally it was from Rising OS because that time Rising OS was not released for any device and that is why those settings UI were already available in some other custom homes. I guess Project Matrix is also giving you and that custom home is one of them. So all the customizations, all the features which are available in Rising OS are looking good so far. Let's see how stable this custom room will be in the upcoming days or upcoming time. But these were things I just wanted to let you know. As I just mentioned at the starting of the video, it's actually official, but not officially available in the channel because of uh, this is a beta version. It's not stable. So as soon as the stable will come, you will get the new updates there. So these were things I just wanted to let you know. I hope you like this thing. If you like this, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel for more interesting content like this one. So I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.